Jessica. All right. Happy Burger Day. We are here at, clapping my hands again. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, Burger Fi, 115th and all. Park Place, right? Park mm -hmm. Place. Town Center area-ish. Uh, it's been on the list for a while. Cool decor, a lot of cedar. Uh, I do love cedar. It reminds me of a mix between State Burger and Shake Shack, as Keeley mentioned. Just on looks and whatnot. They do this cool thing. I'll show you mine. Uh, I think this is maybe, I don't know, the famous. So they stamp it. They stamp the burger. We got two burgers here. Uh, we've got the Beyond Burger, which is plant-based plant -based Beyond Meat, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, cheese, tomato, everything, lettuce. Then we've got the regular uh, Burger Fi Burger. We're gonna try them both. Vegan first. Uh, it is messy. Looks like it probably has some beef in it. It's a little red um, tint to it. We'll try it. See if we can get our bite. It's a little crunchier than normal. Um, a little less. Than Done quite a few burger reviews here. The more toppings, obviously, the more they're trying to match the flavor. Yeah. That's not really that great. Vegan scale. Six point oh, six oh. I might be being generous. Six oh on the vegan scale. We'll dive into one. I will say this looks much better. Um, kind of get a look at it here. A little different. Looks good. It, got, it looks. It reminds me so much of State Burger. I can't. I don't remember. Do you remember what we gave State Burger? I feel like it was high sevens. Maybe? I was thinking high sevens. Yeah. yeah. almost didn't have any flavor until the end and it's not like it's not a it's like a basic like skillet kind of burger like I would make at home I don't like it <laughs> it's almost got this like sour and it's not like a sour in the meat like the meat's fine like it's not like expired bad meat it just has this flavor that I don't love it does have a slightly toasted bun. I think the stamp thing is kind of gimmick. If you have to do that to make me eat your burger, I'm probably not going to eat it. Cool place. 5-2. Um, I, I, I certainly wouldn't get it again. Um, I'm going to have one more bite just to see if like the flavor mask it somewhere. Like. Nope. Yeah, no. Sorry, Burger Five. Anyone, anyone wants to buy or sell a house, so let me know. Uh, we'll wrap it up. This is one of the first reviews of 2020. I hope your New Year's off to a great start. Um, yeah, I think we might have to go do another one. Make up for this. All right, wrap it up. Burger review, Burger Five, 115 to all. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll wrap it up. Have a good day, guys. Okay, after we after we got off camera, now we're back on camera. I tried the other half of the burger. Same burger, we cut it in half. Um, it tasted better. It wasn't that sour, so now I'm concerned that my meat was bad. Um, probably get sick later. Find out in about two or three hours. The other one wasn't as bad, but it's, it's, it's still not good. It's still not good. I don't know they would increase the rating a whole lot, um, but still. I did, I did want to cover up that the other part, the other half was better. The one on that half, I don't still don't think it's close to the six. There's just no flavor. Um, and then Keely tried my other half and definitely noticed the sour taste as well. So, weird thing, maybe we've got like a little batch, a tiny batch of meat. Don't know. Anyway, that's it.